be any the baptism site where Jesus Christ be baptized, where he met John the Baptist and was baptized. We are very close from Wadi al Harar. Wadi, yes, it is the valley where Prophet Elijah seek refuge from the face of King Ahab and Queen Jezebel. And it is the same place from where Prophet Elijah was taken in a chariot of fire into heaven. So, a lot of biblical stories happened in the same spot. In the same spot, after Jesus Christ being baptized, he prayed for the first time and he started to gather the first five disciples. Very close from Bethany, there are hot streams of water called Naim hot streams. In Naim, there are remains of a fortress for Herod and Tipas. Herod suffered from a skin disease. That's why he needed to stay in Naim to treat his disease because the area is rich with minerals. It is rich with the hot streams of water. His fortress is at the bottom of Macawir or Macheros. Macawir is the place where Herod celebrated the anniversary of his birthday. If you remember there, Salome danced and he was pleased with her dancing. And he told her, ask for whatever you want, even if it will be half of my kingdom. I'm going to give it to you. And Salome thought, she went to her mother and she asked her, what shall I ask Herod to give me? She asked for the head of John the Baptist. That was the place where John the Baptist beheaded. And the head was given on a plate to Salome. Then she passed it to her mother, Herodia. So the place is known as Macawer or Macheros where elevation is 730 meters above zero level and on the top of Macawar there are remains of a fortress for Herod and Tipas. The place is opposite to Masada. So if you will go to Macawar, you will see Masada on the other side of the Dead Sea. Where as we mentioned in Petra, Herod built his fortress opposite to Masada to protect Masada from the attack that might come from the eastern side of the Dead Sea and he built it at the line boundary with the Nabataeans because he was afraid from the Nabataeans and in order to strengthen his relationship with the Nabataeans later on Herod married the daughter of Aretas IV the greatest king of the Nabataeans when you visited Petra you saw the treasury and the treasury was the temple that be carved out to honor Aretas IV, the greatest king of the Nabataeans, who was treated like a god. Very close from Macawar, there is a cave, a monastery, and a church. And the church, as well as the monastery, are dated to the 5th and the 7th centuries AD. They were built in the memorial of Lot. If you remember Lot, ran away from Sodom to the nearest small town called Zoar. In Zoar, he stayed in one of the caves among the mountains because he was afraid from the people. And there one night, his two daughters slept with him and they got two sons who established the Ammonites and the Moabites, Ben Ami and Moab. So in the memorial of Lot, they built a monastery and a church dated to the 5th and the 7th centuries AD. And they found a stone that carries the inscription, here is Lot's cave. So the place is known as Lot's cave in Ghor Safi, the current name of Zoar. So the area is rich with biblical sites. Zoar, Ma'in, and <coughs> baptism sites, Wadi Al-Kharrar, Brukhchir Valley, Gomorrah, and Sodom. As you will drive up towards Mount Nebo, you will go to Pisgah Peak where Moses stood over them 3,000 years ago and saw the land of Canaan, the promised land. So, so many stories from the Old Testament and from the New Testament happened in the same spot, which is known as Jordan Valley area. So in God's grace, we are going to leave the Jordan Valley where the Jordan Valley has fertile soil and God has pointed to the Jordan Valley as part of Eden. 
you will see large fields being planted with variety of fruits and vegetables. And uh, you will see a lot of greenhouses, little <laughs> tents, where the people who live here in this area live in tents because humidity and temperature degree will be very high during summertime. And living in a concrete house is too hot. ACs won't work properly in concrete houses. That's why they prefer to raise tents next to their houses or within the piece of land that they own there where it will be very warm during winter season and very cool during summertime to live in a Bedouin tent. That's why most of the owners of those pieces of land live in Bedouin tents. Abunas, I know that you are tired and exhausted and you need to sleep <laughs> for actually a couple of minutes so I'm going to leave you to have a rest, especially that it's warm now. Till actually we reach to Oman, I'm going to speak about the biblical importance of the capital. Amman is the capital of Jordan that we chosen as a capital for the Ammonite kingdom and it has a very important biblical story there. So meanwhile, I'm going to leave you to have a rest. May God bless you.